And welcome to the show. I'm Smokey, and uh, I want to thank you for being here in the studio audience as well as at home. We've got a great show for you tonight. And in fact, this is a very unique show because this is the first time we're coming to you live. And um, <laughs> that's it, we're live right here in the studio and at home. And uh, I want to tell you, the, the, w the way it started, and I want to first thank the folks at WCTV for uh, helping us out and getting the show going. And we're hoping to come to you every week, right here, Monday evening, 8.30 to 9.30 on Channel 37. But uh, I want to tell you, the way it started out, I was playing at a club uh, down the block called uh, The Breakaway, which is a great acoustic music club. And um, I saw all the people that were playing acoustic music in LA, and I said, man, this is something special. Let's do it on TV. So I called Marcella Cruz, who's our program director. I said, Marcella, why don't you come and check it out? And uh, he came down to the breakaway, and uh, I was playing a song, and right in the middle of the song, there was an earthquake. And next thing I knew, here I was. So uh, in, uh, in a few minutes, we are going to uh, have some great guests. We have uh, David Zasloff here tonight, Flying Colors, and um, uh, Don and Shannon, and uh, Long Tall Marvin. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. And for those of you who are just tuning in, uh, you're watching the Smoky Miles Music Hour, which is coming to you right here from WCTV, a unique and historical event because this is our first live show. So, <laughs> thank you. Now, please help me welcome a comedian, poet, and multi instrumentalist, Mr. David Zasloff. My life is a jazz song. I've been on the tops of mountains, out in the middle of the wilderness, and I've run some wild rivers as if I were a fish. And I've learned the dreadful truth of life by manifesting death. Well, my life is a jazz song. Whenever I've been tormented by my own complicity and finally accepted the lies I spoke so cowardly, all the pain I caused comes out in a melody. Oh, my life is a jazz song. Thank you. Here's Smokey. There. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> David's a good friend of mine. David, you know, I've seen you play in, uh, in so many different places, but there was one that really stuck out in my mind. Which and I, one was that? Th that one was, a, it was an art gallery where you were performing on the shakuhachi flute, which right. is uh, your, one of your main instruments, right. uh, wearing your underwear. And I want you to tell us a little bit about how that happened and what you were doing standing there in your underwear playing shakuhachi flute. Well, uh, you know, the life of a musician is pretty rough, and uh, I got a call one day. And actually, what they, they called me and they said, uh, David, we need a nude trumpet player. And I said, no, I don't want to do the deal. And uh, they said, well, it's $100. So I said, OK, you know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I negotiated for the $100 and the boxer shorts. So uh, it turned out to be a pretty, uh, pretty popular gig, too. There were a lot, of, a lot of nude people, and it was, it was pretty hip. Oh, I know. Naked <laughs> people, yeah. <laughs> it was happening. So uh, w you're still playing around town, I know, quite a bit. Where are you going to be appearing next? Uh, the 11th and the 12th is a theater piece at the Theater 6111 on Olympic uh, near Fairfax, and then the Gardenia on the 21st of August. Those are the two closest gigs. Great. And yeah. you'll be wearing your clothes at those gigs? Uh, no, actually, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> partly dressed. <laughs> Part, partly dressed. Well, that's David Zaslav for you. David, would you like to uh, perform another piece for us? Love to. And I, like, I want to bring up uh, Brent Lewis on. He's going to play percussion, and I'm going to play Shako Hachi. Uh -huh. And uh, we'll do one tune. So Brent Lewis is going to be on percussion over here. OK. And I'll move this here, and we're ready. Great. Here we are uh, with uh, David Zasloff and Brent Lewis. And uh, I guess you guys are ready. We're ready. Let's do it.
We're back, and um, for all you musicians out there who'd like to appear on the show, why don't you just write to us at the station. Right now, I'd like to introduce my next guest, international singing group, Flying Colors. One, two, three, four. Someday you'll find it. See world again. Now you're running like the midnight rain. One step ahead of a losing game. Somebody's trying, trying to believe. And somebody's crying, crying to be free. Someday you'll find it. To your own heart, someday you'll find it. Everybody's got a tale to tell, and everybody's got a story they can sell. Somebody had to sell you truth in a bottle, and you believed him, and look where it's got you. Cause one man's water. Here's another man's wine And one man's wisdom Here's another man's crime Someday you'll find it When you listen to your own heart Someday you'll find it Yes, I know you will Someday you'll find it Flying Colors, stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to talk to these guys. So, see you in a minute.
Welcome back to the Music Hour. I'm uh, here with my friends, uh, Flying Colors. It's uh, Brad Bailey and uh, Jim Manzi. And we're going to get to talk to them and find out why they're an international singing <laughs> group. <laughs> How did you guys meet? Actually, I met Jim when he was just fresh off the boat, you know, <laughs> so to speak. You know, I was just in a club and I see this guy walking up to me in a white suit with a resume. And I was going, boy, this you know, people aren't usually this friendly down here. So anyway, we got to talk. So it has to be from a different planet, right? Yeah, at least. Which you know, one? Which one? I don't know. Further away from, than this universe, at least. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, so we uh, started working together. We did a film together, a Vincent Price film. We had a film score. We've been writing songs. And uh, finally, we decided, well, hey, let's stop being studio rats and actually go out and play some of the things. So here we are. Yeah. That's great. Well, Jim, Jim is actually from Australia, not from a different planet, right? And uh, <laughs> it's close. Uh, w w I know you did. You played with on somebody's show that we all heard about, and uh, one of the well, there was a very famous man, of course, who made a movie about a crocodile hunter in the Northern Territory, and that was Paul Hogan from uh, Crocodile Dundee. He had his own television show in Australia for about um, seven or eight years, and I remember going out drinking with him one night after the show, and he was just talking about this idea about this crocodile. Etc. Etc. That went to New York. You know, we thought he'd uh, seemed to be going on forever. He never got it off the ground, but of course. He well, did. I guess he got it off the ground. Yeah, <laughs> yeah big time. And uh, so we hope we we see some crocodiles running in the studio here tonight. Now, uh, Brad, <laughs> you uh, you had a very interesting uh, job before you were, you were playing music. Yeah, actually, I was always into music, but I never really took the stab at it. You know, like when I was in first grade for show and tell, I went to school instead of bringing toys. I went to school and sang Johnny, not Johnny, be good, but blue suede shoes. Got sent to the principal's office, got sent home for the day. <laughs> From that, you know, like I ended up, uh, actually I was managing a vineyard up in Northern California. I had my own band and they were all working in the fields for me and all of them hated it. We opened up a show for Jerry Corbett who was in the Youngbloods. So this was a bunch of musicians stomping yeah. grapes? or well, stomping grapes, okay. spraying weeds, hoeing <laughs> weeds, uh, doing things I won't tell you. and. Uh, <laughs> See what you got to do to play music? But anyway, so we opened up a show for Corbett and uh, went well. We saw him watching our set and they, they did the set and I saw all my stuff going back up on stage and they said, well, you know, go up there. They want you to play with them the set. I said, well, I don't know any of their tunes. So they said, well, stand by the keyboard player. So anyway, after that night, they asked me to go join their tour. They went on a national tour. So like that got me out of the wine business real fast, you know, much of the chagrin of my family, but, you know. It's you know led me down here, and it's uh, you know, music is my life. I'm well, a lifer. What can I say? That's great. We're great. To, very gr glad to have you guys here, and uh, yeah, you, you'll be back. Us. You'll be back and uh, play another song for us a little bit later. Sure enough. Surely. Great. Well, right now we have a, a very special guest. Another special guest I'd like to introduce. Uh, this gentleman is one of the members of the uh, the band Lone Justice, or he was, and. Um, he also just recently produced a record called the Fast Folk Album out of L.A. that uh, that started as a New York folk project and uh, now is coming across the country. So let's have a very warm welcome for Long Tall Marvin. Yeah. Of the spirit 
to our 20th minute anniversary of the Smokey Show. This is two called the Arms Race.
sun and the sun won't shine. Hearts won't yearn and words won't rhyme. She bring rain to a world on fire. She bring rain to a world enjoying the show we're, we're we are here we got a great audience over here and um, we'll be here next week with some more special guests and I uh, hope you find this a regular spot in your weekly agenda so keep tuning into the show every week uh, right now I'd like to welcome our next guest let's have a warm welcome for Don and Shannon
songs Holding out a cup for Monday to the subway just as I could have been a stranger to you I was going to talk to you, but we're, we, we, we're moving along. Would you do one more song for yeah, us? Yeah, sure. Yes. OK, yes. great.
Jen. And when we come back, we're going to jam for you. So stay tuned. Son of a gun, don't have a gun. 